Yes, please. Right, so if you have read and understood considering each critical care scenario, kindly tell me how would you manage this patient now? I will manage the patient as, as a CRISP protocol, but yes. at first I will give the flu challenge as two times 250 ml bolus already given, then I will give 500 ml of crystalloid over 10 to 30 minutes and monitor the patient for the fluid response. How long would you um, how long would you monitor or would you wait? I will monitor hourly the clinical signs like capillary refill time. I will repeat the fluid challenge if necessary. I will uh, suspicious if there are any ongoing bleeding going on or not, and I will leave instruction for nursing staff to contact me. How if would you determine? Concerned. How would you de determine the fluid? Uh, the fluid management that you are giving is adequate? I will monitor the patient response by minimally invasive cardiovascular monitoring or transesophageal Doppler or by CVP monitoring. If patient, even after two hours of continuous management or in fluid uh, replacement, persist with uh, hypertension and tachycardia, what would you do? I will notify my consultant uh, when no response. Within that time, I will give the ionotrop support to increase the cardiac output and vasopressor agent to increase the systemic venous resistance. Okay. How, uh, how frequently would you be monitoring the patient? Hourly. Okay. How long would you, for how long would you be monitoring for hourly? Until re any response occur. Okay, who would you involve or who would you notify or inform? Mm, I will notify my surgeon consultant, yes. uh, a cardiologist, yes. and uh, an anesthesiologist, and my ITU colleagues. Okay, patient is post total hip replacement. So, who uh, won't you be involving? Uh, yes. Main the sergeant, concern. my okay. consultant. Right. You wouldn't be involving the consultant. Okay. Can you tell me uh, which fluid would you be giving for the resuscitation or for the replacement? Uh, crystalloid, mainly Hartman solution. Okay. Can you tell me what are the composition of Hartman solution? Sodium 130. 1 ml millimole per liter, potassium yes. 5 millimole per liter, chloride yes. 111 millimole per liter, and bicarbonate 29 millimole per How liter. How is it better to give uh, or compare to normal saline? Uh, in normal saline, there is no potassium and bicarbonate. And? And osmolality is lower yes. than no, normal saline. Uh, two 80 millimole uh, small per liter. So it is more iso smaller? Iso smaller. All right, good. Can you also tell me what are the purpose of giving fluid therapy? What are you trying to achieve from it? At first, I am trying to replace the already fluid and electrolyte loss. All right. And I will maintain the basal requirement. Uh, I will support the arterial pressure. Uh, in shock by giving plasma volume and if I can give the blood I it will increase the oxygen carrying capacity all right yes very good okay can you tell me uh, yes if you can tell me 
how is blood pressure patient's cardiac output and total uh, total peripheral resistance are blood related pressure, among each other blood pressure is the product of cardiac output and systemic vascular resistance okay Right. Can you tell me uh, which inotropic sport would you give to increase the blood pressure? I will give adrenaline, not adrenaline. How would that uh, affect the patient's cardiac it, output? Uh, by uh, doing a, it will affect on the preload and afterload. And how would that affect the systemic vascular resistance? And vasopressin agent will increase the systemic vascular resistance. Yes. Okay. Can you tell me what might have caused hypotension in this patient? There may be inadequate fluid replacement. And? And maybe some ongoing fluid bleeding. loss or maybe some bleeding. Yes, which is out of sight. So, can you tell me what are the options of fluid balance? Um, what are the options to monitor fluid fluid balance status? Um, by taking history as patient is feeling thirsty or not, by yes. doing some examination to see dehydration status, by muco seeing mucous membrane, skin tiger. GCS status, uh, heart rate, blood pressure, monitoring of JVP, urine output, and pulse oximeter. And we can do some blood investigation, routine blood investigation, and ECG, X-ray, and monitoring of intake output chart. Very good. Can you name few conditions which require increased maintenance fluid? If a uh, postoperative patient is pyrexic or any yes. vomiting, any stoma, uh, fistula, or uh, patient develop ileus or any kind of pancreatitis. pancreatitis. Okay, what are the factors which determine how much fluid you should give to the patient? Uh, any pre-existing fluid loss, uh, any maintaining fluid, or if any ongoing loss present or not. Okay, once you have to make a choice uh, to give which uh, to give a fluid, which fluid is considered to be the good choice for uh, maintenance? Maintenance, uh, either sodium, normal saline with potassium or Hartman solution. Okay. Can you tell me what should be the normal basal water requirement for an adult patient? It should be... 30 to 40 okay. ml per kg body weight per day. Per day, okay. Can you tell me how would you take care of the nutritional status of this patient uh, during this situation? During this uh, fluid uh, challenge, as it is a postoperative patient and in shock patient, I will give total parenteral nutrition. Okay, and for how long? High, high protein. Uh, until the patient responds. Okay. And what pay, else pay, do you have patient to improve? Yeah. Yes. We will uh, give early um, nutrition, enteral nutrition support. Okay. You also mentioned you'll give high protein intake to the patient. Hi what else you high have? Protein. To, yes, high protein uh, to the post-operative patient. What else do you have to keep in your mind before recommending high protein diet to the patient? I have to monitor the patient blood glucose level and, and uh, renal functions. Renal function as well. Yes, good. If patient's renal function is not good because it's a post-op patient, what would you consider? Maybe then you'll renal. Avoid, uh, then you'll avoid high protein diet. High protein diet. Yes. Maybe good. renal decompensation of that. Yes, very good because it's uh, one. It's very like it's first post-op day or recently operated and then. Patient is already compromised, so you have I to be careful. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Thank you.